Is product photography going to be a profitable career in 2024? Let's talk about it. I think this is a question that can stop a lot of people from actually pursuing product photography as a serious business and investing in themselves. Maybe you've heard from friends and family, oh, there's so much competition now, it's not possible to make good money from it. Or you've heard other product photographers say, oh, the industry is going downhill. It's really hard to make good money now. Brands just want cheap photography and AI is going to replace us anyway. So in today's video, I want to address this question from my perspective and give you my thoughts on whether I think product photography is profitable to pursue and what you're going to need to focus on if you do actually want to make it your full-time job and earn consistent income from it. In a nutshell, my short answer to this question is yes. I am living proof. Many of my students are living proof. I'm about to enter my seventh year of being a commercial product photographer. And this year we have seen the biggest growth in terms of the size of our projects and the size of the brands that we are attracting to our business. And I can only imagine what 2024 is going to bring. We consistently earn average 15 to 20 K per month producing photo and video for brands. And we continue to attract quality leads into our business via our marketing efforts. Now, according to the University of Sydney, they estimate that one in three new small businesses in Australia fail in their first year of operation, two out of four by the end of their second year, and three out of four by the fifth year. Now, when it comes to product photography, there are multiple reasons someone might cease operation. And there are three main reasons that I think this happens in the product photography space. The first reason is they don't actually have the passion and obsession for product photography. I know that this industry can look super glamorous on social media, but it can actually be very taxing physically, mentally, and emotionally. And like anything, you have to be really passionate about what you do if you want to make this your full-time income. Reason number two, they find out that they don't want to run a business. If you just want to be a product photographer without having the responsibilities of running a business, like marketing yourself, doing sales calls, communicating with clients, then it's probably best that you seek a job doing photography in house for a brand. And reason number three, they aren't willing to invest in their business in order to level up. And they might wonder, why am I not booking clients? This feels really hard. I've tried everything and it's not working but really they haven't tried everything because they haven't sought outside help with the areas where they have a knowledge gap. Because let's face it, there is going to come a time where you get stuck. Free content can only get you so far and it's being self-aware of when you have a knowledge gap and actually investing in the right person or resource to help you overcome your problems so that you can move to that next level. It's having the mindset that investing your money makes you more money. Let's say you struggle struggle with marketing and sales or pricing your work. There are resources out there to help you get the answers you need so that you can implement what you learn and ultimately see results from that investment. Yet so many people hesitate to invest when they actually need help and therefore they stay stuck and nothing happens and they begin to blame everything else but themselves for why their business isn't working. Now, if you are someone who is super passionate about product photography, you love it, you would love to be making five, 10K a month doing this, I can tell you, it is absolutely possible to do this. There are more brands emerging now more than ever and they need content. There is so much opportunity out there. But you might be thinking, well, Amanda, that's great, but there are so many product photographers now. Isn't the market saturated? Isn't any market saturated now? How many gyms do you think there are? Or nail salons? So many. And this is gonna lead me into our next question. How do we build a profitable and sustainable product photography business in 2024 with so much competition around? And I know there are so many product photographers who are concerned about AI taking over their jobs, but honestly, I would be way more concerned about how you're adapting to the current marketing landscape to make yourself stand out. AI isn't the thing that's gonna put you out of a job. It's your inability to market yourself strategically and stand out amongst other product photographers. So if you're someone sitting there being like, yes, Amanda, I know I need to put my marketing and sales pants on. Where do I start? 
there are three things that I recommend you focus on if you truly want to stand out and make consistent income as a product photographer. And my last tip is probably one of the most important. Number one, you need to look different from everyone else. If you are only posting a pretty photo from your portfolio to your feed with an irrelevant caption, you are going to get left behind because you look the same as every other product photographer who can take a great photo, who shares the same style in photography as you. And therefore, the only thing that a brand has to go by when making a hiring decision is price. They're most likely going to hire the cheapest photographer. And we don't want to be competing on price. And if you're someone who is struggling to convert your leads because they're saying you're too expensive, it's probably because you haven't differentiated yourself enough from your competitors for a brand to want to choose you or your marketing still isn't talking to the right person who can afford your prices. If you truly wanna stand out, I would be focusing on content that showcases your authority, likability, trust, and confidence. In order to do this, you need to understand the problems of your ideal client and how your service solves those problems. Think about what makes you unique. What kind of value can you offer a brand outside of the final photos they will receive? Because once you start to differentiate yourself and you focus on what makes you unique in the industry and you showcase that, people start to pay attention to you. You become more memorable. And who do you think a brand is going to hire when they need a product photographer? the person who has stood out to them, the person who is more memorable. And this is honestly where I see a lot of product photographers miss the boat. They might think it's the quality of their work or their pricing, which in some cases it is, but often it's also a marketing and sales issue as to why they're not getting clients. And it's because they don't know how to market to their ideal client as a result of not having done the groundwork to properly sit down and think about their marketing strategy and actually execute it. You ideally wanna to get to the point where brands are making up their mind to work with you before they even inquire, before they even know what your prices are, before you've even had any kind of conversation. And this is what happens to us with a lot of our leads because our marketing strategy is so dialed in. This is a snippet from an email we received from a lead recently. And I want you to look at the last sentence. Looking forward to working with you. Now, this was only the second email in the conversation where at this point, we're just teeing up a phone call to discuss the project. I had never heard of this brand before. They've never interacted with my content. I think they probably also only recently discovered me. And so this is how it went. We hopped on a phone call. We discussed their photo and video needs. We weren't able to get a budget range from the client on the phone call, but I felt like it was one of those situations where they're willing to pay what we're putting down. And so we sent through a proposal, which I think was just over 5K. And the next email says, yep, keen to move ahead. Can we add on more content? This is literally how easy it gets to be when it comes to booking clients. We know exactly who we're talking to when it comes to our marketing. We rarely attract brands who cannot afford us. Sure, one creeps in here and there, but a lot of our leads are high quality, meaning they fit our perfect client description and everyone has an amazing experience working together. Now, you can get to this point in your marketing where booking in clients feels this easy, but you gotta put in the effort on executing a content strategy that works for you. Now, if this is something you need help with, I will soon be launching a brand new program called 5K in five weeks, which is designed to give you the roadmap to earning 5K a month consistently in your product photography business. So if marketing is a major struggle for you, pop yourself onto the wait list or leave the link in the description box so that you're the first to be notified when it launches. It's going to be a game changer for your marketing and I honestly just can't wait for you to start using this method. Now, we're about to head into 2024. The marketing landscape has changed a lot over the last few years. People are looking for more connection, transparency, authority. They want to be super confident in the product or service they're investing in, which leads me to my next point. Number two is focus heavily on video marketing to showcase your service. I know, I know we're photographers. Video can feel super hard, but video marketing is one of the best ways that you can build trust super duper fast 
with your perfect client. And there are so many ways that you can create videos showcasing your work. But like I said before, it's not all about your work. You want to be showcasing other sides to your business, what it's like to work with you. In other words, are you a fun person to work with? Are you relaxed? Are you down to earth? What are you like personally to work with? Think about when maybe you've had a difficult client. Maybe they've been a bit rude, a bit short. Maybe they're really picky. Maybe it's not a pleasant experience to work with them. The same goes for you and your photography business. Brands want to know that they're going to get along with you and expressing your personality is one of the best ways that you can showcase this. What this does is it helps to break down that trust barrier even more before the brand has even inquired with you. And using video marketing is an incredible tool to help you do this. Remember, people are attracted to energy. Here's a really good example. I practice Bikram yoga. We have a local studio near where I live. Now, for those of you who have never done Bikram yoga before, the class is always the same. It's the same 26 postures, same heated room, nothing changes. The one thing that does change though is the teacher. There is one particular teacher where I will always seek out his classes over anyone else's because of the energy he brings to the class. And his energy really resonates with me in a way that is kind of playful, yet he really pushes you to your limits and will call you out if he feels like you're slacking off a little. And he just shares really great nuggets of life wisdom in between the postures. He makes everyone in the class feel seen. The other week I went to class and we had a guest teacher. Now she was great but there was just something lacking for me in terms of the energy that was in the room. And this is what I mean when I say people are attracted to energy. So really think about what kind of energy are you bringing to your business? And do you think that people are attracted to what you're currently putting out there? All right, last but not least, number three, be known for something. We are not here to be generic, guys. We're not here to create average product photos. We're here to be fucking great at something. We're here to be an expert in something. I'm not going to say that you need to niche down into one type of product because you can be known for multiple types of product industries. But it's likely that you're going to lean towards one thing more than another. For example, one of my best friends is a photographer and they are incredible at basically any product. They produce amazing food photography, incredible skincare photos. They can do it all. But I would say they are known for bigger set design and complex styling, for bringing the big ideas to life where they're building sets inside of their studio and producing whimsical scenes that when you look at it, you're like, wow, so much went into this. So in this case, it's not about the product. It's about the service that they offer. So think about what do you want to be known for in your business? And this ties right back into my first point of what is going to help differentiate you from the rest of the crowd. All right. Now you know what things you need to focus on if you want to build long-term success in your product photography business. It is now up to you to take the necessary action Just know that seeing results from your marketing efforts requires consistency. You need to be in this for the long game if you actually want to turn this into a sustainable and profitable business. And honestly, working on your marketing is one of the highest money needle moving activities you can do in your business, but only when it's done right. Now, I'm going to leave it there. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments. Let's have a chat and I will see you in the next video.